Ahoy! Captain Benzie here, coming at you with a quick video just to showcase how to play Brawl Stars if you're coming in from Command & Conquer Rivals. I know a lot of my community set up with CNC Rivals has seen me talking about Brawl Stars recently, and some have been a little bit confused by it, so I just wanted to run basically a quick video that is the tutorial that the game doesn't give you. Now, as a heads up, I am neither the best player in the world, and wouldn't be even if my Zimbabwean internet was a little bit better than it currently is, um, and I'm not... Uh, you know, there are YouTubers out there running better and more in-depth guides of the game at large. So if you find this interesting and you do enjoy it, give those guys a quick check out. Have a look and you'll see some stuff. This is just a basic beginner's guide to get going. Now, if you've come across from CNC Rivals, then this is the video for you. I'm just going to go over those basics and showcase what's going on. So first things first, we need to understand what a brawler is. Brawlers are your characters. Here we have Shelly in the middle of the screen. She is the first character you will unlock. And if I jump into the menu here and right to the left hand side, you'll see that as you progress through the game, you unlock new brawlers. This is kind of like leveling up in Rivals where you unlock new units at certain levels. Unlike Rivals, once you reach that level, so once you have here, for example, a thousand trophies, you unlock Brock. You don't have to find him, he is already there when you reach that point. Now, also, like Rivals, units have levels. They matter slightly less here in that you can go from level 1 to level 10, and each level up is exactly 5%, I believe. You'll see here that when you level up a character, it increases their health, their attack, and their super. Um, to understand what those are, you can tap on I here and that'll show you here that, for example, Shelly, she uses a shotgun and her, sh uh, her super destroys cover and keeps her opponents at a distance. It pushes them back. Ultimately, every time you level up, you'll see that it ups the damage of each of those abilities and her health increases by 5%. Once you reach level 10 as well, or is it power level 9, power level 9, sorry, you can get uh, supers that do some really cool abilities. You can also change skins for the different characters. Now, if you're interested in a particular brawler, even ones that you haven't unlocked, you can go straight down here to try. When you are trying a brawler, it brings you to this little arena that just gives you a little chance to, to have a quick go. So I'm going to cover the, mo the basics of movement now. On the left-hand side of the screen, you have a little stick, a virtual joystick that allows you to move. Simple as that. The right-hand side is then your aiming reticle. You aim that, you release it, and you fire. It, it's really that simple. If you're up close and personal, you can tap on uh, the... Uh, the firing reticle and it will fire at the closest enemy that's useful if you need to fire in a pinch but it is terrible for anything at range or moving enemies because you just will aim at where they were at the point of click rather than here you can aim ahead and they'd move into it the uh, little golden one at the bottom that is your ultimate ability you can see there you can do different things with it depending on what your ultimate is using that yellow stick will do it and as you see honestly the level uh, the yellow stick tra uh, increases with time I think it's with time and damage done, so you need to be doing some damage to get that. You'll also notice that below the character's health... Oh, hello, I'm being shot at. I didn't actually realise they did that. Below the character's health, you have three orange bars. Those orange bars are, of course, ammo, and if you're out of ammo, you can't shoot. Simple as that. Anyway, so that's the, the basics of moving, aiming, shooting, and using your ultimate abilities. Get into these little, uh, little testing modes, have a bit of a practice, get a feel for what your character can do. Anyway, so, before we proceed too far, other than unlocking characters on the tracker, how do you get other brawlers? Well, simply put, in these little boxes. These boxes you open when you get 100 tokens for a standard box, or 10 star tokens for a big box. Now, how do you get those? Well, you get standard tokens for winning games repeatedly. You get the uh, star tokens for winning matches. Basically, to, to kind of explain this, if you look at your different events here, you'll see that you get new events open over time. And every time you open an event, would you look at that? I've just earned myself 10 tokens for each one of those events, taking me up to 82. In the top left of each of those uh, events as well, you'll see there is a star token. Now, the first time you win an event, you will earn a star token. So once you've won 10 events for the first time, you will open up uh, an epic box, uh, a big box. If I do a gem grab now and win it, that token gets used. Any further gem grabs I do, I do not earn a token for. In order to level up your brawlers, you need two things. First of all, here you can see that you need what are called power points, and of course you need coins. Both of these can be found inside these boxes as well. They can also be found in the shop. 
every now and then you'll get free things in the shop like here I get a couple of points for Frank for free you see that increases his uh, his player power once that reaches maximum so wrong one once it reaches maximum like I am here with Shelly I've got 390 out of the 340 required power points I just don't have the 800 coins it's going to take me to get her from power 7 to power 8 now as I said power goes from 1 to 10 rank that you see in the top left goes from 1 to 20 for each brawler the higher your rank it ultimately just means the more events you've won now when you win events you earn trophies that fills up this top bar here when that trophy fills up you rank up and every time you rank up you get more tokens final point to note before we get into the cool stuff of actually playing the game is down here in the bottom right you can see that there are 200 tokens that you can earn from battles now as time goes uh, you'll as you play through obviously you'll start earning those tokens when you get down to zero of those playing more games will earn you trophies but it will not earn you tokens toward boxes you'll have to wait a brief period of time before they open this is where in the shop you'll occasionally find these things called token uh, token boosters you can buy a 1000 token booster for 50 uh, token uh, 50 gems you can also occasionally over here under special offers get a, a one that does you 500 for only 19 you also can earn gems in standard play now what a token doubler does well you'll see at the end of the match i'm going to jump in here with a gem grab these other events by the way you'll see will open with time you will not have all of them at the start and some of them change like the siege is sometimes uh brawl ball and heist is sometimes uh i forget what it's called now bounty sorry gem grab is always a gem grab though the map does change from time to time you can see the map there uh showdown as well is always showdown but again the map changes Maps do change for all game modes, but anyway, let's jump into a gem grab. I'm not going to use Shelly because she's a bit high and I tend to lose with her these days. Um, actually, no, screw that. I will use Shelly because I, having just said that, I can now pretend that that's the reason I'm losing, not because I suck. So you pick which mode you want. You hit play. You get queued. You wait until you find enough players, and this is a three versus three. Who can get the most gems? Basically, the idea is to get and hold on to gems. Once you have ten gems in your team... Um, you, it starts a countdown. If you've played Fuel Frenzy and Brawl Stars, you understand what's going on here. Note as well, standing in tall grass makes you invisible to the enemy team. It's a great way to start up a little ambush. Now here we've got uh, a Rosa who is being a little bit aggressive. And ow, that Frank's hurting. Yep, that's me dead. You see, now when I die, I drop my gems. Back in we go. That Rosa is pulling back into the long grass there because she can't be seen. The enemy team hurts. Like, seriously. You'll also notice that... Uh, like when you're running away from them, it's easier to do damage because as you're backing away they're moving into your shots um, and you're moving out of range of theirs so running away from people is actually a really good tactic in this anyway there we go let's deal some hefty damage there waiting for my super because boom that's gonna really hurt I still die because of course I do I always die in this game I suck but you can kind of get the basics of what's going on here. Now the enemy team's trying to chase R7, so I'm just going to move in. Sacrifice myself, which was totally the purpose I was aiming for there. Honest. Um, <laughs> to get that guy to drop his gems. My team moves in. You see we now have 10 gems. They need to move away. As they move away, um, they, uh, they, they're they basically hiding to keep that countdown going. Now genuinely, yes, I'm going to die here. The entire point is that I am distracting away from these guys killing my team unfortunately that's not going to work looks like my team is going to go down nope we just about held on and we actually got the win so you get a star player and you can see there the levels in this case have actually you know, yeah, worked in our favor but they don't always anyway so let's have a look you see i have earned six trophies which pushes me up there i earn a bit of experience and i earn 20 coins for the uh, 20 tokens for the win my token doubler i get 20 tokens uh, deducted from the token doubler and it adds to my total so if I quit out of that now, you'll also see, so there go my trophies, there go the tokens, and there comes the star token. So if I go back now, you see the star token has gone from gem grab because it's now in that box there, waiting to go up to 10. Down here though, I now have enough to open this box, so I'm going to open it. Let's see what I get. 13 more coins. 6 points for Barley, who I'm waiting for more coins to level up. 10 points for Carl, who is way down on my power points, and that's it this time. You sometimes get event tokens, which are used for these weekend superpower, ability, uh, superpower events. Um, you sometimes get gems in there as well. Of course, gems are your premium currency that you can buy with real-world money. Um, and you sometimes earn uh, brawlers in there as well. Now, let, let's not 
kid ourselves, the brawlers are extraordinarily low drop rates. Like if I look in a big box here, you can see there are the stats. Getting brawlers in those boxes is possible and it does increase the chance over time. So it says here, um, every time you open one of these boxes and you don't get a brawler, you open, uh, it increases your chances of getting brawlers in future ones. Now it's been a long time before uh, since I got a brawler, so yeah, fingers crossed I should get one fairly soon. Now there are skins. Skins look really cool. They don't change anything for the characters, but there are some pretty sweet ones. Like I really like this sort of badass Shelly. Anyway, that ultimately covers most of the basics of playing the game. The final little bits I want to talk about are just setting up, clan, you know, joining clans and that kind of thing. So you've got your own little, if I go, sorry, back onto the trophy road and jump to the left here just to show you. You can change the colour of your name, you can change your icon depending on how, uh, which characters you have unlocked, etc. You can see how well you're doing, some basic stats, that kind of thing. To go back to home. Up here, you can see which of your friends are online or like in your team and your club. And you can look for teams and clubs to join here. Um, and of course, you've got your menu here for like your settings, your leaderboards, your Brawl TV, and um, that kind of thing. Brawl TV can actually be really, really interesting because you get to spectate the top level Brawl Stars from around the world. They talk about the esports events going on. There are some big tournaments going on. Um, but yeah, anyway, I think I'm rambling on a little bit now. Final point that I just didn't mention earlier, though. You'll see here, because I won 20 from that match, the 20 has gone down off there. But yes, that now officially covers everything. Um, that That's all I really wanted to say. You know, if you guys are playing Brawl Stars, let me know how you're getting on. As you can see, I'm only 15-15. I, I, I dabble in this. I don't really spend much sort of time or money on it. But I do have a lot of fun with it, and it's interesting for me to watch and keep up with if you're playing, let me know. I'd love to play some games with you as long as you don't mind having me tank your rating. Um, and otherwise, yeah, come join us on the Gaming Galleon Discord. We'll talk about Brawl Stars. Let me know how you're getting on. If you are trying this for the first time, let me know what you think. Otherwise, happy sailing and see you in those arenas.